What's up guys? This is the Roman I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to run off up the last time, um, the French have landed some troops in, in the Greece region to try and attack our cities behind the front lines. So we are meeting them with our fleet. The objective will be to capture some of these fourth rates and also um, the sixth rate, Charlemagne. The rest of it can all... They can all just be be um, scrapped. Without further ado, let us attack. So we are going to lose some ships. And realistically, I think I'd probably like to get into the melee fairly soon. Okay, let's pick all my ships together. Fourth way to the front. Group them together. Line of stern. Come on. Good. Okay. So let's deploy my ships. Actually, this isn't bad because I can make I can make pro I can make progression towards them, and then change direction if needed, like this. Who's this up front? Scepter. Where's the second rate? Oh, I see it. Back there. Delicious. But here comes the first catch of the day. Okay, half moon. You are going to switch to chain shot in an attempt to knock the masts off this fifth rate and keep them, well, just handicap them. Just try to slow them down a little bit. I'm okay with doing a bit with a bit of automation at the moment, but soon I'll need. Uh, I'll need my fleet to become a bit more managed. To be honest, they might drop anchor. I might have to do a bit of management now. Just keep everyone moving forward. ships can make speed at uh, full sail. Come on man, take out one of those masts. If I could chew up a fourth rate before the rest of their line gets to me, that would be brilliant. Two of their fleets are done. Two of their masts are done, I should say. Okay. You keep going. You're going to get involved in the deadly dance. With this ship at point blank range. Side. Come on, all of you, full sail. Come on, 
keep turning, keep turning. Okay, you start turning and start ready to fire chain shot. You keep going, you keep sailing to about here. And just keep firing at will, firing at whatever targets you can get your hands on. Try to get this ship in through the middle of this cat, if at all possible. to engage the head of the next column. Fantastique. Come on, put the thrall down. Delicious. So Philippe's at the back there. It's thankfully Charlemagne's right at the back. You try chain shot to put some shells, put some um, holes in Danube's mast. Can fire, but I don't want to miss. I don't want to waste the opportunity <clears throat> because of the Hulk. Uh, fire. Put the hammer down. I have to fire. Weak broadside. Yeah, our guy's unhappy about his position, understandably. So let's those guys hanker down. It's understandable. Bit of a poorly managed engagement there on my part. There's probably lots of duplication of fire that either is happening or isn't happening at all. Fifth rates are in the mix. Lutana's on fire. She is wavering. She's surrendered. 
So we need to take a position here. Yeah, lots of overlap here. Need to turn me down and pull fire in. Okay, now their second rate starting to uh, starting to get involved. into this position so you can keep pouring fire. It's going to take a lot of hits from the second rate, but not a lot you can do about it. So Michelle's on fire. Side, so I can try to get a long range shot onto, the, onto Charlemagne. some more sails. Well, no, it's probably too late for that. Okay. I think Philippe's fairly intact. Firing chain shot now. Charlemagne's up and kicking again. Or oh. hold the broadside and put a good broadside in the side of Heroes. Maybe you around to hit Sudason. Let's support the Bob going. Okay, let's pivot just in case I don't get a chance to use it. on at full sail. 
as do you. You can push on as well. So I'm not liking the progression of this battle. You stay where you are. Just keep firing. You need to spin around. Just let these guys keep loading and firing. Because right now these guys can't really contribute too much to the chaos. Just keep loading and firing. Stay where you are as well. Ooh, if San Michel could blow up, that would be handy. Excellent. Oh no. This poor ship. Let's get your broadsides ready. Stay where you are. You fire round shot. Chain shot, sorry. Because uh, by the looks of it, Charlemagne's coming right in. Same with you guys, to be fair. Heave ho. Thieves and beggars. Reload. Reload both broadsides. Ooh. I'll turn these guys off fire at will. Understandable. That guy's very unhappy. You guys need to get over here to help support that flank. Okay, now these guys need to pretty much be cranking broadsides at them. No, don't move. The lambs have forced their way in. So this guy needs to get his broadside off. Damn, this is getting to a right scrum. God damn, some of these ships are not going to do very well at all. force their way through that little blockade.
so I press the right. Broadside, bam! Dodge, so what have we what's okay, so stock take. We are losing. I don't think Katie's gonna enjoy being ahead of attention. Fire off his broadside left. I'm trying to board my ship. So the fourth rate's in dodgy shape, but they've got two fifth rate, two fourth rates and a fifth rate. They're in good shape. Speed up. Pop off your broadside before you don't get a chance. Yeah, just started to roll. Let's pull these guys out. Because we can't win against the remaining forces. This is fourth, fourth, second, fifth. Just get him out of dodge. Especially as they got one of my hulks has managed to bang, bash into them. Obviously, this is a crushing blow for the Italian Navy. But it just means that we will have to rebuild. And it looks like we might have to sacrifice... No, a fourth ray. He might not make it. He is very damaged. And he's being chased by a good condition fifth ray. So I'll be withdrawing with a fifth and a fourth. Two fifths and a fourth. Well, for now, they could well chase us down. Hey, you guys, I don't know. What, it's frustrating why they stop withdrawing. It's like, why? All it means is they just... Okay, I think it might be because they're... They were manually withdrawing, rather than <laughs> one of these fifths started sinking before they left. Don't worry, we will build the greatest fleet, and then we will show the French. We'll show the French what it means. And also, it just highlights, this is why I don't fight naval battles, because I'm really bad at them. <laughs> Look at them racing, trying to get the catch. But you're not going to see. And this is why we deployed our army off the coast of Greece, Greece at first. So where is the edge of the map? Is there one? Yeah, there there is. So a fourth and a fifth are going to make it. This guy is... He's also withdrawing. But based on his stats... I don't rate his chances. Yeah. I don't like withdrawing, but... Sometimes you haven't really got a choice. Yep, so they're all going to go for this guy. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Damn! Damn the French! Damn, damn, damn them. They didn't, unfortunately, they didn't capture any of ours. 
we took out four of theirs. We, they lost. We lost seven of ours. We lost an admiral. Let's not put you near. Actually, there's not a lot we can do about that. If they want to chase us down, they can chase us down. But we have managed to damage their fleet. <laughs> yeah, methinks the Ottomans are not done. But this is also why we've got this army here. So let's take our own personal revenge against the French. And also, it does just hi it does just highlight the need to expand with a full strength navy. And why well, I need to get better in naval battles. But then I suppose if you're bad at fighting naval battles, the only way to get better is to keep fighting them. a massive flank on the left. Not too big. Deploy our cavalry ready. Pikes just hang around. Your guns looking a lot, lot less, lot less healthy. It's one team completely eviscerated by cannon fire. Come on, fire another volley! Yes, ah. misses. <laughs> Did a lot of damage to the infantry. And they've unlimbered their guns in a really weird position. Okay, let's get one of these batteries to start hitting the lances. The other battery can continue to hit the artillery because that's quite a good target. Horse have had their say, or are having their say. Hunker down into square. <laughs> Charge my cavalry into the Lancer Guards. Let's retarget my artillery to make sure they are all hitting the right targets. These are lancers, so they will do a lot of damage on the charge. But we have more good cavalry in, following from the following on from the charge. So our ability to kill them in the combat post charge is massive. First Lancer Guards are unhappy. And the cavalry unit we sent that got the charge, that was charged into by the French, has lost a lot of men. And not as many as this cav Lance unit is about to lose. Oh, I thought we'd kill a lot more than that. Horse over. Ooh, horse guards. Now they can do some chopping. Am 
my cavalry is getting shot at. But they're now routing. Send some cavalry to intercept there. No, these aren't. The Grenadiers are cheval guard. They aren't like proper horse guard. They are still horse guards. They are still pretty sturdy. Get my general over here. Their general killed. He might. These guys might have to actually get involved because they are doing a lot of damage to my cavalry. Okay, let's halt the artillery fire. So you continue to chase down French Massacre, the guard cavalry we've got within our grasp. Continue. I send my weakest unit off to go take out those Fusiliers. Because our because we've got light cavalry and they've got guard cavalry, we might actually be able to chase them down and kill them. Yep, there's only one left. And he's stopped to uh, offer combat. Whereas my general's doing an absolute number on these Frenchmen. Okay, let's check on the other unit. Fusiliers are going down nicely. Good stuff. Oh no, they're going to rout. Oh well. Nearly got him. It's all left to this small unit to kill four fusiliers. Three, two, one, done! Awesome. I mean, don't tell me we can't chase them down and kill them. Is it our cavalry that's slowing us down? Our artillery, sorry. Yeah, it is. Good stuff. Okay, you guys replenished. Let's go to Syracuse. Yeah, we are still going. We've got fourth rates on the go. We also are researching hard down the naval tech tree. We've got this army in Naples. We want to go take Cagliari. We've got Bulgaria. Um, let's replace you with a... Probably with a religious building. Just to keep pushing our religion forward. Because this area is going to be particularly troubled. Do you have to be cognizant of the fact that uh, Istanbul is going to be a target for the Ottomans. But that's why we've got a garrison building there. Probably local fisheries, all we need for Bulgaria. Don't really need a port. There's not much in the region that needs to be traded through Bulgaria. Awesome. Let's hit end turn. And let's probably watch that French fleet chase us down. French are coming.
but they want to attempt to take Turin, then bad things will happen for them. Here come the Swedes, hopefully not towards me. Nope. They've landed in Germany with another army landing in Germany. <laughs> and there go the Mughals. So the French fleet is staying in situ. Eleven thousand. So much cash. We could build everything. In fact, what we're probably going to do is build up the Turin garrison a bit in order to provide better support against attacks from the French. So let's give them four grenadiers. They can go into the city because there's a chance they might just bypass this completely and go straight for Genoa. Pierre Aroué. Okay, you guys. Verona is upgrading. Bologna can upgrade if I get rights of man. Okay, upgraded Iron Masters works in Italy. Fusiliers in Naples, so I do want to jump these guys over to Corsica to teach them what it means to defy us. Okay, let's build the Iron Masters works, let's build up the Carpet Weaver, and let's upgrade one of these church schools to help keep converting the population. Apart from that, there's not too much we can do. Oh, we can upgrade. Let's upgrade a winery. Awesome. But looking at the time, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been very battle-heavy. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.